A city has found that the rate its population changes is given by the function little p of t measured in people per year and t is the number of years since the year 2000. What is the best interpretation of the integral of little p of t from 12 to 17 equals negative 3651? We will interpret the meaning of this def integral looking at this in terms of signed area as well as the fundamental theorem of calculus. But before we do this, it's important to recognize that because little p of t gives the rate at which the population is changing, little p of t is the derivative of the population function. And now to model this integral using area, because the result is negative, we need to recognize if we were to graph p of t and shade the area bounded by the function in the x-axis, there would be more area below the x-axis. So let's go ahead and assume little p of t is this blue linear function here. Over the interval from 12 to 17, we shade the area bounded by the function on the x-axis, which is shaded here in red. The area above the x-axis would be positive. The area below the x-axis would be negative. Notice how there's more area below the x-axis than above, which is the reason why we can use this as a model for this depth integral, which is equal to negative 3,651. And now to interpret this depth integral, let's analyze the units of this area on the next slide. We know geometrically to find the area, we would have to multiply the units on the vertical axis by the units on the horizontal axis. And therefore, we would have people per year times years. If we write years as a fraction with the denominator of one, we can see the units of years simplifies out, leaving us with the units of people, which means this negative 3,651 would have the units of people. We can also view this area as the accumulation of the change in population over the time period from t equals 12 to t equals 17, and therefore, the area represents the total change in population over this time period. And t equals 12 represents the number of years since 2000, which means t equals 12 corresponds to the year 2012, and t equals 17 corresponds to the year 2017. And therefore, the interpretation is between 2012 and 2017, the population has decreased because of the negative by a total of 3,651 people. Let's write this as a complete sentence. And again, we know the population has decreased because of the negative sign. If this value was positive, the population would have increased over this time period. Now before we select our answer though, let's also interpret this using the fundamental theorem of calculus, which is shown here. Beginning with the given integral, this would be equal to big P of 17 minus big P of 12, which we know is equal to negative 3,651. Now remember, big P is the antiderivative of little p, and little p is the derivative of the population function, or we can say the derivative of big P of t is equal to little p of t, which means big P is the population function, and therefore if we evaluate the population function at 17, and then at 12, and then find the difference, this does give us the change in the population over the time period from t equals 12 to t equals 17, which we know is negative 3,651 people, or a decrease of 3,651 people between the years 2012 and 2017. Now looking at the sentences given above, the correct sentence is, between 2012 and 2017, the population has decreased by 3,651 people. I do also want to take a look at this first sentence though, Notice how this one reads, between 2012 and 2017, the population is decreasing by 3,651 people per year. The reason this sentence is not correct is because the result is not a rate of 3,651 people per year, it's a total change in the population over the time period from 2012 to 2017. I hope you found this helpful.